One of the most powerful things you can do in Autoplay Media Studio is create tables of functions. So let's take a look at that now. We'll go into Project, Global Functions, and look at the first way of doing this. We'll declare a function here called Hello, and I'm just going to not pass any values to it, and it'll be a dialog message box saying Hello. Now I'm going to create a second function named Goodbye, and I'm going to do the same thing except this time I'm having a dialog message that says goodbye instead of hello. Alright, there we go. We've got our functions declared. Now let's add them to a table. We'll create a table called greeting by saying greeting equals curly braces. Now all we have to do is add our two functions. So let's say greeting, hello, that's going to be where we um, can call it from is the hello slot in the greeting table equals and then hello so that's going to equal our function that we've declared there named hello and then we'll say greeting goodbye equals our function goodbye so you could name those anything you want in this case I'm naming it something relevant so that I can recall it when I need to go use it so we've created our functions and then we've added them to a table let's go ahead and call our functions so on our page here we're going to say greeting hello and then I'm just going to cut and paste that and change that second one so it says greeting goodbye we'll press F5 to preview our project and let's see what it does okay we get a dialogue message saying hello and then a dialogue message saying goodbye so let's go ahead and switch this up now to the second method as you can see it worked we had our table of functions and we called them one at a time and they worked perfectly well. Let's go ahead now and do it a different way though. Now we're going to go ahead and create our table, greeting, and then we're going to add our functions directly to our table. So we'll say hello equals function. We'll just use empty brackets here and then we'll type in our action. So we'll say dialog message hello and then I'm going to put the end statement I'm going to put a comma since we're going to add a second function here and I'm just going to cut and paste and edit my second line of code here so that the function is called goodbye and that the greeting in the dialog message is goodbye okay so let's take a look at what I've done here I've created a table named greeting and as I'm creating it I'm inserting two functions and I've got a comma separating my functions. Let's press OK and go ahead and preview our project and see what happens. We get a dialog that says hello and then a dialog that says goodbye. So we have the identical functionality but the difference is in how we coded the table. So whichever way is easier for you that's the way to go with. If you've already declared some functions, you can then, for example, let's say you've declared 10 functions, you can create three different tables that contain different combinations of those functions. So that might be one way to go. And if you don't need quite that advanced uh, function management, you might want to just create a table and add the functions as you're creating it, as you see here. But at any rate, either way, you can create tables of functions. It's a breeze, it's super easy to do, and that's how you do it. Let's go on to the next video tutorial now.